Hey guys, so I'm all moved in. I'm back from vacation and everything like that. So I am going to get started with one of the uh, ED story videos. Um, I've been trying to think for like the past like week and a half about what I want to start off with. But last night I was working and I saw something I had never seen before or heard of before in my entire life. So um, I figured why not start with that. So at work we're allowed to use um, a like program, I guess. I don't really know exactly. I guess like a program website, but it has a membership that the doctors use to get the most up-to-date information about different diseases and medicines and all things like that. It's like a clinical database kind of thing. So after I saw this, I looked it up just to make sure I had a little more information on it. Um, before I get started, though, I'll put like a little disclaimer at the beginning every time I do one of these videos is that I am not a trained medical professional. I um, don't have like any specific details. Everything I talk about is things I've learned from my job. I don't have any real schooling. I have not been completely taught. It's just things that I see and that the doctors tell me about and things I've looked up. Um, I cannot give professional advice. I am not qualified in any way to do anything like that. Um, but it's things I've learned. It's things I think are interesting and I think are fun to share. So that's kind of it. Um, so what happened last night was we had a patient who had an anaphylactic reaction and she didn't know what caused it, but she had just finished working out. And she had had similar reactions before, but this one was the worst. She had never like completely had an anaphylactic reaction like this. She just like would get like some facial swelling. So um, the doctor I was working with said that you could get um, like hives from working out and that that's like fairly common, but this woman didn't have hives. She just had like facial swelling and she like couldn't breathe and passed out. So there is something called exercise induced anaphylaxis and symptoms of it are like getting face red in the face, uh, hives, um, tired, things like that. But the worst of it is when you get your facial swelling, your throat closes, you lose consciousness, you can't really breathe. It's the full like anaphylactic shock. According to the information I looked up, um, patients who get this don't exercise regularly, but don't like get it every time, obviously, because otherwise you kind of wouldn't exercise. So um, it can just happen randomly. It just comes on and even though you exercise all the time, it will just, you can't predict when it will happen. Triggers for the anaphylactic shock is basically just like vigorous forms of exercise, like jogging, run, like anything where you're pretty much running around. Um, so it could be like tennis, soccer, anything like that. Um, there's also like co-triggers uh, in the information I looked up and that kind of like leads to kind of different forms of it where like for instance, one of them said that um, you could get it if you like, it's like food associated. So if you eat within two hours of exercising, um, you like are more likely to have it happen. But that's not like for all kinds, but it's just something that's, it's like a pattern that's been noticed. Um, they don't know why people get it, but that it's, um, if you know anything about immunology and anaphylactic shock, it's your mast cells releasing histamine and just kind of explodes from there. Um, and that's the same, the same thing happens. It's not a different type of chemical being released, but they don't know what causes the mast cells to degranulate and, uh, release the histamine so that you go into this, uh, reaction. But, um, beyond that, they just, they know that's what happens, but they don't know why it happens and what causes it. It's just that someone exercises strenuously, the histamine's released, and they go into, uh, an anaphy anaphylactic reaction. There are several theories about what actually causes uh, the histamine release, but um, I'm not really going to go into them. It's kind of long, and there's like six of them, and they're each like a paragraph. So I don't really feel like explaining all of them. I don't want to make this like a super long thing, but you could probably just look it up online if you really wanted to know more. Um, but none of the theories have been proven. They just kind of things that they think may be associated with the reaction. So when the patient got to the ER, the symptoms were pretty much resolving. Someone had a picture of what it looked like when it was at its worst, um, 
but it was definitely going down. We treated the patient pretty much, well, I didn't treat the patient. The doctor treated the patient pretty much with just some steroids and some Benadryl just to make sure that it wasn't coming back. The patient had been given an EpiPen um, at the firehouse where they were when the um, reaction occurred, but the EpiPen is pretty much what saved the patient and stopped the reaction. But once they got to the ER, we just gave the steroids or some, we, we use steroids a lot for like a bunch of random different things, but um, we do it a lot for like really bad allergic reactions. The, the steroid is an immunosuppressant, so it reduces the edema and kind of blocks the allergic reaction and works. It's a little stronger than Benadryl, obviously. A lot of you probably do know that. Um, so yeah, and then the patient was released and with a prescription for an EpiPen and everything like that. Um, it was basically just like a general anaphylactic reaction, but I just found it really interesting that it was exercise induced. I had never heard of that in my entire life. Um, I couldn't imagine just being out running and all of a sudden going into anaphylactic shock. That's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so that was weird. So I hope you liked it. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of um, interesting to me. If you have heard of anything interesting or see anything interesting, again, I have access to that database, so I could look it up and try and get some information. But um, I'm just going to kind of pull from interesting I th interesting things I see. Um, it'll be interesting things, funny things, maybe some th sad things. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all later. Where's my stop button? There it is. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!